This is the neck vein, the eye internal jugular vein, and then we have the superior vena cava, the SVC. You can see that the SVC is about two to three times wider than the IJ, but they're both pretty significant. Now, the catheter goes in from the arm all the way up. And so here you see that these catheters are pretty thin uh, and they're also very flexible. So as you huff and puff, increase and decrease your thoracic pressure, your veins get significantly larger. It can two or three X your original size from here to here, right? So it can enlarge the change in thoracic pressure can actually enlarge your veins significantly. If you've ever inserted a central line or a CICC, especially in the IJ, you know that if you're having a hard time seeing that vein, you ask them to bear it down. <laughs> because that bearing down will increase that jugular vein for you to be able to hit it more easily. So as the person breathes, the patient breathes rapidly or coughs rapidly, there's going to be a violent change in the diameter of the vessels, which is going to violently flow the blood. Remember, the turbulence is going to increase as the vessels change rapidly. And when that happens, when they go... When they cough and breathe rapidly, there's a rapid change in the diameter of the vessels, which is going to change a rapid and violent flow of the blood. Remember, blood is very viscous. There's a lot of friction there. Wherever the blood flows, it's going to carry objects with it. And the catheter is going to move to the vector of the, the blood from the veins fluctuating like this in a rapid manner. Okay. So because of that, over time, that catheter could flip, flip even more, sometimes get up to that point. There's enough space for that catheter to maneuver, especially because it's so flexible and so thin, it's susceptible to the forces of that thoracic pressure. And keep in mind, this is most likely not due to one bout of exercise. It could be a couple of sessions before it even flips like this. So if the catheter is flipping up to the IJ, what do we do? Ask the patient to bear down, basically increasing the width of the vein, allowing more room for the catheter to flip back around. We take a 10 cc, not a 3 cc, not a thin syringe, because a thinner syringe can actually can rupture that catheter. So you want a 10 cc syringe and inject as hard as you can so that the normal saline will force that catheter down and just like a fire hose it'll start to push the catheter down so that's one of the techniques that we use to get that catheter back into the right position doesn't always work but it does often enough that we teach it